It's Sunny and Finn's Wrestling and Video Game Podcast. This week, we discuss the games of January, PlayStation VR uh, stuff, and the week in wrestling. What's up, guys? Happy New Year, and welcome to episode 46 of the Sunny and Finn Show. I'm Sunny, and with me, as always, Finn Steele. Hello! Happy New Year, Finn. Thank you, you too. How are you? Sleepy. Are you feeling better? <laughs> um, I think so. Still very tired. Um, uh, suffering from a bit of insomnia at the minute, which is lovely and so, annoying. <laughs> but uh, yeah, very tired. Uh, but other than that, I'm pretty good. Okay. Uh, how good. are you? I'm good. Yeah. I've started the year with a clean bill of health. Oh, good. Um, I'm hoping to maintain it. I'm not hopeful because <laughs> shit will turn sour at some point. <laughs> of course. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm excited for the year ahead. Cool. Are yeah, me re- too, actually. Yeah. Are you ready for another year of this? Are you ready for another 52 episodes of the Sunny and <laughs> Show in 2017? Of course. Looking forward to it. So much stuff going to come this year. Yes, bigger and better things. We've just Hard launched Daydreamer Gaming. Yep, yep. Um, it's good so far. We're just sort of getting organised um, as opposed to who's doing what streams and <laughs> using the channel and all that sort of stuff. But... Mm-hmm. Um, it will come together. Uh, I have no doubts about that. I mean, this is literally day two. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but, day you know, two. everyone is sort of getting to know each other and it's uh, it's going to be good. I'm excited for it. Me too. It's going to be good. Yeah. I have high hopes. And um, we've made a New Year's resolution also, we and I, uh, that we're going to make more content this year. Of course. Uh, more proper videos. Mm-hmm. Uh, more streams. And of hey, course, we'll keep doing the podcast every week because... We are the Sunny and Finn Show. <laughs> we are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts every single Friday and sometimes Saturdays. Sometimes Saturdays. Across podcast <laughs> services everywhere. Everywhere. Finn, what have you been playing? Hello. Um, right, what have we been playing? I play a lot of Overwatch because, of course. Um, what else? I got. Um, Some DLC, right? Uh, no, it's not DLC. It's just like, they added a bunch of stuff. Uh, new pass came out, new map. Um, yeah, yeah, that's what I meant, yeah. Yeah. Uh, which is super cool. Playing it earlier today, actually. A uh, lot of fun. There's cars driving about. You can get one everywhere, which is hilarious. Oh, okay. Um, it's very cool. Um, also got a Paper Mario Color Splash for the Wii U for Christmas. Oh, I'm okay. playing that. It's a lot of fun. Um, very funny. The humor is very good. Um, combat's a bit meh, but just it, it makes up for it in just like pure humor and just I good vibes. I things, um, <laughs> but I'm glad you're enjoying it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, what else? Final Fantasy 15, obviously. Um, How are you getting on with it? Where are you now? I haven't played it. I haven't played it that much this week. I played it on and off, just because I've been ill and it's been Christmas and stuff's been going on. Sure. Um, so I'm playing a lot of smaller, uh, simpler things like Overwatch and Paper Mario, uh, less bigger things like Final Fantasy. But yeah, more sometimes that. you need that break. I think so. Yeah, definitely. I think um, you know sometimes when you are feeling a bit sort of lethargic, I think the best thing to do is to. Like I said to you when we were playing um, Gears of War Four mm. the day that this is a nice break. Yeah. from all the open world stuff that you know is around at the minute and what we've been playing yeah you're right um, and you do need it sometimes I agree yeah yeah of course get it all for <laughs> um, which else I'm loving well. by the way yeah so good love it um, less serious than the last games uh, more like more of a sense of humour to it yes um, it's cool yeah I think it's probably because the, the cast of characters is younger yeah um, could be that I like it. it it is a lot less serious the action is still fantastic the set pieces are wonderful yep yep um, great game Yep, great looking game as well. Very, very nice. Set. Very good looking game. Very nice set pieces and whatnot. Deceptive because um, I think it was mentioned during the stream that um, you know during promotion and that yeah. sort of thing it didn't look much different to exactly Gears yeah. of War. Yeah, it's like Gears of War three, but slightly sharper. But when you but, when you see it and you play it, you sort of really appreciate uh, the step up from the Xbox three hundred and sixty to the Xbox One. Yes, definitely. And oh, I finished uh, Last Guardian as well, uh, which is good. How was it? Very good. I liked it. Good, good, solid ending. So I like yeah. a lot. Yeah. Will good you stuff. play through it again? Nope. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very one and done kind of game. Okay. Uh, Out of 10, what would you give it now that you've done it? Um, 7.5. 7 7.5. Out of okay. 10, I think. Yeah. Uh, controls aren't great. AI is not great. But the story and there's like the Trico and the interaction between Trico and the boy. It's very good. And um, yeah, story's great. Ending's if, very good. If the story's gotten you through the control issues and the not so great graphics then I think that's a testament to the story yeah at least they've done well in that aspect yeah I mean, that's, that's what these these games are all uh, all about in the day isn't it uh, at least I come in Shadow Colossus yeah of course yeah yeah 
I think that's about it. How about how about you? What have you been playing? Um, well, over the Christmas break, I finished Ratchet and Clank. Nice. And I loved it. Um, I think it's one of the PS4's best games. I said this on our Games of the Year 2016 podcast with Mule. Mm. Um, I do believe it's one of the best PS4 games you can get. Probably one of the best games across bo- both consoles Nice. Um, that you can get. I think it's, it's truly excellent and well worth playing. I, I will play through it again because I think the Platinum is... Uh, obtainable for sure. Yeah, it seems like it. But and it's so enjoyable that it, it's it's you could tolerate playing it again. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Like like you just Not said, like, the Last Guardian is one and done. Yeah, but with exactly. and Clank, there's stuff to collect, and you're like, okay, well, I, I want to collect all the hollow cards, so now I want to go back and play it again. I want to because all of your upgrades like a new game plus, so yeah, you just carry forward and like uh, you it's know, cool. there's a trophy for completed in challenge mode, which is the new game plus, and. Um, yeah, I, I think it's really excellent. So I'm going to go back and play it again. Not just yet. I mean, probably in a few months' time. That's cool. But it, it's very, very good. Um, I've been playing um, Gears of War 4 with you, of course, of course. as I just mentioned. Yeah, yep. Uh, I started last night. I started um, Dead Rising. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dead Rising 4. Hmm. And I said I wasn't going to play it, but it was in a <laughs> sale. And I was like, oh, okay, I watched the trailer and it really made me laugh. So I was like, no, you know what, okay. And it was like <laughs> the, the guy, Frank, he was like running zombies over in a tiny little car. Oh, I was yeah. Like, that, that looks fun. Yeah, it's dead lighting, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I've been playing it and uh, I'm pleasantly surprised. I really do like it. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's pretty cool. What is it, I'm trying to think what else I've been playing. I've, uh, I mean, I've I've carried on with Doom. That's cool. So I picked that back up again. Um, awesome. I forgot how good it was, to be honest. Uh, yeah. It's really, really good. I don't know why I left it alone in the first place. Definitely not want to play. Other games, but. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's super. Awesome. And to be honest, I've been dipping in and out of, uh, FIFA and, you know, other stuff like that. Yeah. But we've got so many games to play. I mean, the sales have been pretty amazing. Over Christmas. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. It's a couple of ones to pick up. I want to get Dragon Quest builds, I think, before the sale ends. You want to hurry up. Yeah, no, it's the end of the six, I think, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll get that. Yeah. Uh, I picked up, uh, Game of Thrones season one off, um, Xbox Live. Nice. It's like six pound. Okay. It's like, uh, I don't watch the TV series, but I also don't watch The Walking Dead. So, <laughs> oh yeah, I true. love The Walking Dead games. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to play through that at some point uh, after I've played through The Walking Dead season two. Cool. But um, yeah, so I've just been sort of dipping in and out of some casual stuff, but um, I'm happy that I've managed to get through Ratchet. My next one is going to be Doom, and I'm going to sort of keep playing Gears with you so we can finish that. Mm. Um, even though we got frustrated to hell. Oh god, that god. last mission. Yeah, we were streaming for three and a half hours that day. <laughs> we were, yeah. A dread to think how many times we fucking died. <laughs> yeah, a lot. But um, no, it's got a lot of fun. Good fun. Real good fun. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I've been playing. Cool. Um, but it, it was nice to have the time off over Christmas to at least <laughs> be able to chill out and relax and game. Yes, absolutely. Get some good times. Done. Back to work now, which sucks, but yep. Um, at least we've got plenty to be excited about. Yes. Right, next week off, so yeah, for me. Oh, good time. <laughs> yes. So, it is the first week of January. It is. So there isn't any gaming news, but... Not really. Um, we do have a month of gaming releases to look forward to. So, Finn. Yes. We have, right, January. You just made a list. What was it what's the name? What was the thing called? I, I was that. trying so hard to think of what it was that I went silent. I just went, <laughs> Finn. And then you just like, started. Yeah. You just made the list. You just made the list. Of games coming out this month that's the one that's what it's yes. called yeah we did it <laughs> you nearly nailed it for me because I completely just went just had a, a complete like mind blank yeah I know the feeling uh, <laughs> <laughs> right so on January 17th we have a game Jesus Christ I know nothing for the best <laughs> like half of the year on January 17th we have a game called Fate slash Extellia Extella <laughs> the Umbul Star shrug um, it looks like my kind of game it's a JRPG I think uh, so PS4 and PlayStation Vita, uh, set after the events of the 2010 PSP Dungeon Crawler, single player action game, which in the tour, blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah. Look great. Well, that sounds phenomenal. <laughs> What's it called? Uh, Fate slash Xtella. I think it might be based on an anime, possibly. Okay. Sure. Yeah, but, uh, Dungeon Crawler, single player action game, uh, team up with Spirit Servant, blah, blah, blah. It does sound right up your street, though. Yeah, but I think it's like a sequel to a sequel to a sequel, so it's like, Jumping in halfway through the story. Yeah. Meh. Something I am looking quite looking forward to. Uh, January 20th, Dragon Quest VIII, Journey of the, Journey of the Cursed King for 3DS. Uh, a 3DS port of the PS2 classic. Uh, includes updates like more story content, full voice acting, uh, two additional playable characters, new side quests, street pass functionality, and an alternate ending. 
Is this something that we should be excited about? Yes, yeah, Strangler State is a very is the excellent game on PS2. Okay. Um, well, I haven't played it sadly, but I will get a chance to soon, hopefully, on 3DS. So that's cool. Um, yeah, a lot of high praise for Strangler State. A lot of people love it, so looking forward to that. Still bringing them 3DS games out in the build up to the Switch. Yeah, and that's good. Which is only a couple of months away. Do we think we get it in March? The Switch? Hmm. I mean, I, I don't know. I've not seen anything to suggest otherwise. But yeah. I've also not seen anything. Well, much of anything at all, actually. <laughs> yeah, nothing official has been announced, I don't think. Mm, I don't know. Hard to say. Well, it's coming out in March, apparently, so. Potentially. Uh, on the same day, uh, January 20th, we have Gravity Rush 2 on PS4. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, what about that? Are you uh, interested in that at all? Oh, yeah. I've still got the first one to play on my backlog. Uh, I uh, also do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, I, I bought the PS4 version, Gravity Rush Remastered. Yeah, same. Uh, I've played a little bit of it and I think it's fantastic, I really do. Yeah, that's um, awesome. <laughs> I'm miles away from this and by the time I get around to Gravity Rush 2 it'll be like 15 quid. <laughs> yeah. Happy days. That'd be, in, that'd be next year, well this year's Christmas and New Year's sale. <laughs> Absolutely, That's yeah. when I'll get Gravity Rush 2. <laughs> yeah, me too, probably. Um, on January 24th, uh, Kingdom, Heart, Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> bloody Christ. <laughs> However, I am interested in that. Cool. Uh, that's be- the Disney one with Square Enix, isn't it? That's the one. You see, I think that looks really cool. It's awesome. Kingdom Hearts is amazing. I love Kingdom Hearts. Okay. One of my favourite franchises. Will I um, enjoy it? Yes. Will I enjoy more than Final Fantasy XV, do you think? Yes. It's less RPG than Final Fantasy XV. Okay. More uh, actiony. Um, story-wise, you'd be jumping in, the, in the, at the deep end. Um, there is an HD collection available on PS3, uh, not on PS4. Oh, wait. So these aren't those games? Uh, no. There's an H- there's two HD collections on PS3. Um this is the third HD collection, which has <laughs> what games do they have? As uh, Dream Drop Distance, which is a th- originally a 3DS game, which has been obviously upgraded and everything for the uh, console. Why well, should hope so? Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's the uh, latest one in the story, pretty much. Before Kingdom Hearts Three, which comes out hopefully this year, hopefully. Um, it also has uh, Kingdom Hearts Key back cover. Uh, it's a series of cutscenes uh, taken from the mobile game. Which is set what? like, yeah, I know. It's set before the first game, so it's like the, like, I don't know. The uh, You know what? I'm already lost. Yeah, me too. No, I, I play these games. All right, well, <laughs> I mean, it depends on how much it is, I might try it out. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it might be worth waiting for Kingdom Hearts 3, just because it'd be more of a, like... Uh, a new story? Yeah. Follow on? It's, it's, it'll be the, the culmination of the story, basically, the last... Well, this sounds crazy, chapter. this collection. It does. It's insane. It's one for fans, I think. Uh, okay. It'll well, also come to, like, a little mini... Mini game, like its own unique, it's not like a, pre- it's not like a prequel to the Kingdom Hearts 3, uh, called 0.2 Birth by Sleep, sure. a fragmentary, but yeah. I say. Okay. <laughs> the names of these games are hilariously dumb. <laughs> but, uh, great games though. Okay, right. <laughs> that, you know what, you could have just said that. Yeah. Dumb names, good games. What's it called again? It rhymed. Um, <laughs> the full title, Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8 <laughs> Final Chapter Prologue. <laughs> Why 2.8? I don't understand. Uh, see, it's just like that, you just think, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I know. Why can't you just call it Kingdom Hearts 2 HD Collection or something? Yeah, why not? Oh, it's, it's Grimmy Nix. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> also, on the same day, yeah, same day, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Oh, hell yeah. Or well, as it's called in Japan, Biohazard Biohazard. Uh, no, it's not. I know, it's not. I'm it's joking. called Biohazard Resident Evil, isn't it? Is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, they, they've, they've sort of Swapped done it around. the other way around, yeah. Cool, okay. I'm okay with that, that's fine. Oh, um, uh, yeah, first person Resident Evil game. Looks awesome from the trailers. Can't wait. I'm going to do a full playthrough of this on otherwise channel or Daydreamer Gaming channel, however it works. It'll appear on both. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, so a full playthrough of that. I'm going to get, more, I'm going to get it back into doing uh, Let's Play kind of things. Because sure. I have a lot of fun making them and they're uh, a lot of fun to watch, uh, in my opinion. So, yeah. I think that. that'd be good. I think everyone's under the... We were talking about it earlier on in our uh, Daydreamer messaging group. Hmm, yeah. Um, that, that would be uh, a good watch. Yeah, I think and so. I won't be playing it in <laughs> VR, not because I'm scared, but because, yeah, okay. well, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but because the uh, the moving around all fun. Oh, yeah. That, 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 oh, yeah. Uh, but I'm yeah. Looking, I, I can't wait for this game. Yeah, it looks really cool. Love the demo. Mm-hmm. Uh, love the kitchen VR demo. Yeah, that's cool. I think that's absolutely outstanding. Mm-hmm. That's one of those things that you will show off to people. Like, oh, oh yeah. come see VR. And <laughs> you, you, put, you put it on the head and you're like, just sit back and go. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's right. Motherfucker, you don't know what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. And this, to be honest, I haven't looked forward to Resident Evil in a long time. Yeah, um, six was garbage. Yeah, oh. <laughs> so bad. So bad. Well, if you've listened to this podcast sort of for the last forty odd episodes, you will know that we do not like 
Resident Evil 6. 4 is great, which I've actually started playing. Yep. Um, Excellent. The camera's weird because you've only got one stick to use. Yeah, it's, it's a PS2 game. PS2 and GameCube game. It's old, old technology. Sure. <laughs> 5 is okay. It is. Yeah, it's fine. It's decent. It's okay. Good co op game. Yeah, great co op game, yeah. Good co op game. Um, but 6 is fucking garbage. Jesus yeah. Christ, it's I, terrible. I tried to like it so badly. I tried, no, it's not that bad. It's okay. I'm playing through it and it's like, I get to you like, the last story, like Chris's story, it's like, uh, yeah, okay, it's bad. Yeah, it's I, mean, I, I played through <laughs> I a bit of it, it and I was trying to make excuses to like it because yeah. it's Resident Evil and I was like, Same. I just can't do this anymore. It's yep. not a good game. Yep, I agree. Shame. Um, and, uh, yeah. But back to basics with this one. Yes, good. Good stuff. Basics back, as back far horror. as horror is concerned. Yes. But they've changed it up so it's sort of like PT, which everyone, you know, everyone played a 15 minute demo and, Lost their minds for it, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so they're trying to make it like that, which is uh, so. which is cool. Yeah, kind of kind of PT meets like Outlast kind of thing. Yeah, good stuff. Where the hell's Outlast two, by the way? There's a, there's oh, a yeah. demo for that forever now. Good question. I don't know. Um, also on the same day as Resident Evil, uh, Tales of Berseria. I think that's how you pronounce it. Tales of the Winning Out of Things to call this. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, next game in the Tales of series. This isn't the same thing as before, is it? What was that other thing called? The Fates last something. Oh, America. okay. <laughs> it's a. Uh, it's the latest game that in the Tales of series. Uh, another JRPG, basically. You'd hate sure. it. Right. <laughs> uh, but it could be cool, yeah. It's the area. Look forward to that. Uh, and of course, the one you are looking forward to, uh, Yakuza 0. Oh, man. I, I can't begin <laughs> to describe my excitement. I, is... I just can't wait. Comes out the same day as Resident Evil 7. Um, same day? Yeah, same day. Oh, great. Um, yeah, I... I I don't know what it is about Yakuza. I mean, I never, I, I, I missed it on PS2. Um, it, it just completely bypassed me, and I didn't play it on PS3 either. Um, but when I saw that there was sort of um, this was coming out in Japan, I was like, right, I really want to play this because it, it looks gorgeous. Mm. Um, so I downloaded the demo. Um, had no idea what was going on because yeah. obviously Japanese Japanese, subs, Japanese speaking. <laughs> yeah. So I just walked around beating the crap out of people, Fun doing what I think I was supposed to be doing, but <laughs> I have no idea. So I'm really excited to play it um, with English subtitles because yeah. they've, they've not done the voice acting. Yeah, that's true. What, you know, why would they? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, sure. um, it's understandable. understandable. But it's going to be great. And I'm really looking forward to that. And I didn't know what day, date it was. I knew it was the back end of January. I wasn't sure which day it was. Yeah. So lots to play at the end of January. That's good. I said it's a, it's a good month considering it's January. Yeah. We got, um, so we got Gravity Rush 2, Yakuza, Resident Evil. I think there's a, ha- a Hatsune Miku Project Diva game coming out this month as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Not the list, but it could be. Um, how long- let me find out what it's called. Uh, I saw it on uh, Games Press. Cool. There's a, there's a new Digimon game on the 31st. Oh, so uh, is, that, is that the sequel to what we were talking about last week? Uh, possibly. Digimon World Next Order. Yeah, I think that's it, yeah. yeah that's cool. the sequel to Cyber Sleuth, I think. Awesome. I think. Uh, so, yeah. I think that's about it. Good times. Good times. Uh, I'm excited for Resident Evil big time, and I'm excited for Yakuza, so uh, that's where my time is being spent at the back end of January I could do with clearing out some of that backlog <laughs> yeah, same. before or despite the fact that I've added to it <laughs> during the sales and whatnot um, let's talk about PlayStation VR okay um, I don't know how much you've been playing yours recently not a huge amount I know you've not been very well so. yeah yeah, mostly due to the not being well thing but yeah not a huge amount same I haven't been playing one much uh, but again I, I was ill back in the last year and I knew it was sort of messing with me yeah um, played a little bit fairly recently but it's not the games I want to talk about. Okay. Okay. Um, PlayStation VR, uh, and this is, I'm going to address the elephant in the room. I'm sure <laughs> other people have spoke about it, but you don't hear many people talking about it when they talk about PlayStation VR. So I'm going to go for it right now. Okay. PlayStation VR is capable of running virtual reality pornography. Cool. Did you know <laughs> that? Uh, yeah, I think. Maybe. I think don't I heard this somewhere. Anything. I know, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't partaken <laughs> myself personally, uh, but I have read something about it, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I'd be interested to know how many people have partaken in this activity. <laughs> yeah. Um, probably a high number, I don't think, on the thought. Well, I was going to say you were a homework task. <laughs> yeah, homework <laughs> task. <laughs> um, yeah. and both of us can attempt it. Okay. Um, I think we should, we should, we should try it. I'm not in the same room at the same time. <laughs> That'd be awkward, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I think we should try it. I feel like as ambassadors to the gaming <laughs> world okay, and, you know, early adopters of this technology, I feel like we should uh, we should try it out. Okay, sure. Maybe I'll uh, record my reactions to it. 
<laughs> no, please don't. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want our YouTube channels to be taken I mean, down. Not mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> not like I didn't mean yeah well, you know what I mean um, do I do you <laughs> do I I don't know I never think anymore this is an interesting thing <laughs> I think virtual reality porn I mean it was inevitable I mean of course um, uh, I'm sure it's been around on PC for a while yeah probably like headsets and stuff yeah uh, but this is an interesting advancement in um, trying to pick my words so carefully <laughs> uh, it's an interesting advancement we'll leave it at that yeah. So, yeah, I think we should both try it out. Okay. Report back. Make sure there's nobody in your house. <laughs> yeah. I'll make keep, sure keep the door locked. That, yeah, lock that shit down like it's fucking Fort Knox. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> bye, Finn. We're just going out. Get in. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so one more like, thing. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Finn! <laughs> oh, God, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just like five seconds after they go on and come back and see me with my pants down and the head's on. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine being caught <laughs> masturbating with a PlayStation VR headset on. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't even know there was someone there. You'd have got your headphones on, you'd have got your on. It's like, God. in hand. <laughs> yeah. There is no way back uh, for you after that. Yeah, that's probably the worst way to get caught. I call. think, like, you know, uh. you, your parents have just gone out, you, you light a couple of Yankee candles, <laughs> you get the box... <laughs> <laughs> what candles? You get the box of Kleenex out, get the lotion, put the R. Kelly CD on. R. Kelly. And then you put your VR headset on. Nice. For uh, a jolly good time. <laughs> jo- jolly good time indeed. Yeah. Um, yeah. Then your parents come bursting back in and it's... Uh, life's a mess from, from there on out. <laughs> yeah, seriously. You never, never have to look at them again. You, you move out of the country. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, oh, where's, funny. uh, where's Finn? Oh, it's, uh, he's dead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is, it's, it's dead to us. <laughs> yeah. He, he, he died in a, an unfortunate wanking accident. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, what a way to go. Uh, I can't think of many better ways to go. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Killed by your dad for <laughs> jacking off with a VR headset on. <laughs> You have to be so careful, though. You would. Because, like, w- when you put your headphones in, like, that's it, you're done. <laughs> yeah. Like, you don't know what is going on in the world. Seriously, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Fun times. <laughs> so next week, uh. when uh, when I see you on for the <laughs> podcast, um, we're gonna we're gonna revisit this topic. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Um, we're gonna we're gonna share our not intimate experience. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But um, we'll share our thoughts on virtual reality pornography absolutely and I mum, think it's a weird thing and mum if you listen to this I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I pre-warned Lottie that, uh, <laughs> like, if you hear us talking about pornography it's because I'm going to bring it up <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's, it's a... uh, yeah oh my son does a podcast oh does he let's listen yeah uh, imagine your mum catching you <laughs> masturbating to VR porn <laughs> wanking am I right <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh. That's, if, that's the other thing that's going to be called, by the way. If you're <laughs> listening to this for video game and wrestling content, um, bear in mind that the little E next to the podcast on iTunes stands for explicit. Yes, we're, we're sorry. Uh, yeah. It's been, it's been a slow news week, so we've got to talk about something. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, I didn't know what we were going to talk about, and um, we were talking about VR in the in the group earlier on. Oh, yeah. And then, for some reason, porn entered my mind at the same time. I don't know why. <laughs> as it, as it would. Of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't work at the to think about. Yeah, think about porn and then, oh, VR, I'm going to play Resident Evil in VR. Oh, well, you know. That's weird. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good times. So, yes. Next week, you get the exclusive reaction <laughs> of Sonny and Finn to yes. VR porn. Absolutely. We'll be so happy next week. <laughs> so yeah. Well, that was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Never to be visited again. It was awkward. The cat saw me and it was... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poor cat. So, after that excitement of virtual reality pornography. Yay. It's time to move on to the wrestling section of our podcast. Yes. Finn. Hello. <sighs> Raw is really starting to piss me off now. Um. Yeah, it's a bit panting up, wasn't it? I, would... I think that's being generous. Yeah, maybe before we talk about war, we should talk about well the sport uh, on yes, ITV. Yes, let's talk about that. Because that's that's a pretty huge thing that happened. Uh, Big thing recently. British wrestling. Yeah, huge. Did Very you huge. watch it? I have. I've seen it now. Did you enjoy it? I did. 
It's very, as you, as, you, as you said to me, it was very like daytime TV ish. It was. Um, but it was good. It's kid friend, very kid friendly. But at the same time, I liked it. The wrestling was solid. It was cool to see some uh, familiar names in there. Um, and yeah, I liked it. It like cool, cool, like Money in the Bank ladder match style kind of thing. Yeah. At one point, which is cool. And uh, entered the people into like a battle royal at the end of the night to determine um, who's going to be a champion going forward. Yes. And uh, yeah, I liked it. Yeah, I want to I, see more. I did enjoy it. Uh, I would like to see more. Do I think we're going to get more? No. Mm. All right. But I, That'd be a shame. I don't think viewing figures have been um, exceptional. No. Yeah, that's um, a shame. I think from what I read, uh, Ninja Warrior or something like that was on afterwards. Oh, yeah. And I think that only got 900,000 less <coughs> viewers. Yeah. I mean, I'm not a TV viewing figures sort of statistic nerd or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, but I think uh, World of Sport picked up uh, one point. I'm not sure. If I, yeah. But I don't think it was great. Yeah, it wasn't as big as they were hoping, maybe. I did enjoy um, it, uh, and I liked how lighthearted it was. Yeah. You know, and it's really showed how fun wrestling can be. Yeah, it was a different different feel than WWE, which I think is a good thing. Um, oh, for sure. And yeah, very cool to hear Jay on commentary as well. Um, very cool. And Alex Shane was good as well. Yeah, he's great. I met Alex Shane. Oh, yeah? Mm. Nice chap. He's a nice chap, yeah. Good. He's tall. Is he? <laughs> he's very tall. Cool. Yeah. But he's a nice guy. Um, but... Yeah, it was it was good. Um, what annoyed me, not about world of sport, but you know, obviously it was on British TV promoting it as it should be. Mm-hmm. You know, you sh- if you're gonna, they promote EastEnders and Coronation <laughs> Street and all Garbage. this other crap. <laughs> yeah. And um, like the comments on the Facebook post that Good Morning Britain put up, oh, yeah. um, like they put the clip up of the wrestlers on Good Morning Britain. Oh yeah, I saw I was that. Like, oh cool. God, I don't want to watch this crap on uh, blah blah blah. And all this sort of stuff's like. All right, then don't, don't fucking yeah, watch it. Yeah, yeah, don't watch it, you idiot. Like, what are you doing? Oh, it's fake and it's scripted. Then obviously you had the wrestling fans biting in the comments. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, but you watch EastEnders and all this sort of stuff. <laughs> exactly. I just don't understand why people can't appreciate what other people like. Yeah, I, like, I've never, I know, yeah. I've never sort of understood that. I know. If you don't like something, then fine, don't like it. Exactly. It's like people going on, on YouTube videos and saying, "Oh, I don't want to see this in my." Description thing, blah blah blah. So don't, no, again, no one's watching it to look on the bloody video, are they? Yeah. Just don't watch it if you don't want to see it. Yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, so I don't understand that, and that that's annoying. That's what, and I think it's that that will stop um, British wrestling from becoming mainstream. Yeah. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Because it deserves, and it, it was a wonderful showcase for some of the really good British talented wrestlers. Yes. Um, Very that good. are out there, and um, I, I mean, I yeah, I mean, the long show is I liked it. Yeah, me too. Uh, I do hope you see more, but yeah. I really do. I don't think it'll become a regular thing. Not like a, a weekly show. I think if we could see it once a year. Maybe. Uh, whether that's going to be enough and whether people are going to stick with it if it's once a year. I mean, gee, once a year is not a lot. It's not. Um, we'll see. But really good effort. I'm so glad it was put together. Yeah. And World of Sport and British Wrestling was showcased on national terrestrial television for the first time in... Uh, a long, long time. Yes, that's good. So that's awesome. But yeah, more please. Yes, more please. I mean, if if you watch, if you're watching it, another thing, if you're watching it, sort of expecting progress or you know a rough <laughs> looking, uh, you know, indie show. It's yeah. Not that it's very much Saturday Night Takeaway with wrestlers. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. It's on. It was on like during the day, so it's not going to be super violent or anything. So no. yeah. And uh, I love Grey though. Grey is great. Yeah. Yeah. I, I never used to like him. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen, I've seen. I've seen interviews with him where he's like. A, kind of come across as a bit of a dick <laughs> but as an entertainer he's he's very good at what he does so yeah, yeah. Uh, I never used to like him but uh, I've seen a lot of fun stuff recently like the Grado gets a, a job oh yeah that's very funny that's sort of fun stuff and um, I like the dancing on the way down to the ring and he's I, I like him I'm sold on him yeah he's cool good stuff but uh, let's go from the good mm-hmm. to the not so good the less good yeah Monday Night War mm-hmm. I don't know why we watch this show. I put it on Twitter <laughs> yesterday. I, was like, I don't know why I watch this. And yeah. like, the comment, like people reply to me, like I, I also don't know why I watch it. Yeah. Or I stopped watching it a year ago, and all this sort of stuff. It's like, yeah, why do we watch this? Why are we doing this? Yeah, it's strange. It's a strange place right now. Well, um, so yeah, it started off with a promo. Uh, Kevin Owens, the Kevin Owens show is going to be on later with Goldberg. Even your voice while you're describing it is like, <laughs> I don't know why I watch this. Yeah, it's it's this happened and this happened. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I skimmed through most of it to be honest oh uh, yeah same because uh, Steve wanted me to watch the final segment and give my thoughts on it uh, oh, so I, I did I, I skipped most of it I watched the cruiserweight bits like I always do because yeah. I'm 
super rooting for them. That's thing that annoys me as well. The cruiserweight matches are like five minutes long. It's like, for God's sake, <laughs> give them give them the time and the matches, the kind of matches they had on the cruiserweight classic, and then people start to get excited. No one's going to be excited for matches that are five minutes long, with no story going in there, like some crappy feuds with Alicia Fox, and no one cares about that. Give See, us good matches, good solid long matches. While that's getting no time, <laughs> let me just read this out to you. My friend tagged me okay. in this on Facebook yesterday. Since August the 22nd, there have been 20 episodes of Monday Night Raw. Chris Jericho has been in a match against Seth Rollins and or Roman... Sorry. The, uh... Sorry again. <laughs> Since, oh, God. <laughs> Can't read. Since August 22nd, there have been 20 episodes of Monday Night Raw. Okay. Chris Jericho has been in a match against Seth Rollins and or Roman Reigns 12 times. Jericho also hasn't won a match since September. Oh, God. Kevin Owens, in the same period, faced either Roman Reigns and or Seth Rollins 14 times out of 20 Raw episodes. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's dumb. That's bad booking. <laughs> That's very bad booking. You have so many wrestlers yeah, it's terrible. to showcase. And it's like, here are these three. <laughs> Look at these. Which, I mean, I love Chris Joker, I love Chris Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins and all that, but come on. Come on now. It's overkill. It is overkill. But I, I, I just don't want to watch Raw now because of that. Yeah. Because of how, not because of that statistic, but I mean, it's, it was obvious anyway. But just because I don't want to see Seth Rollins versus Jericho. I don't want to see Jericho against Roman Reigns for the US title because it just, it just isn't. I mean, it's fine for the first couple of times. Yeah. But when you drag it out over a massive, you know, amount of months, it's, it becomes, people start to tune out and, I th- and people start to um, speak uh, against it. And, that, you know, that's exactly what's happening. Yeah, I agree. People are tuning out. Smackdown yep. beat Raw in the ratings. Yes, good. And deserves to, because it's much better. Um, it's actually saw um, one of their new shows, shows on WWE Network. I forget what it's called. Um, it's oh, doesn't... With, with JBL? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's resting the fact that it's got more well, three hours long, should it be two hours? I think just yes. Um so it was like, oh, we've got all these new things. I've just added a cruise rate to like four extra segments. But like, yeah, the segments last like two minutes each. And you're not showing those cruise rates. And you're showing crap promos and other garbage that no one cares about. Oh, no. if, if, there was, if there was three hours worth of content in Monday Night War, then I'd be fine with it. But there's not. There's like an hour worth of content in yeah. three hours of Raw. It's, it's garbage. And to be it's honest, done. that's why I don't really think we need to talk about Raw. Because yeah. people are so, are so anti-Raw. Like, even the people who were there at Raw don't want to be at Raw because they're not fucking watching it. <laughs> yeah, it's like when Stephanie mentioned, SmackDown beat in the ratings. Everyone cheered. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, they should be beating the ratings because you're shit. Yeah. <laughs> but I watch SmackDown and I'm, I'm, I'm compelled. Yeah, I like I'm, SmackDown. I, I'm, I watch it and I'm like, okay, I'm invested in this. I'm invested in AJ Styles and John Cena. I'm invested yeah. in all this other stuff. I mean, the only thing that was good on Raw, Braun Strowman versus Sami Zayn. Yes, that was very good. And I did. Sami Zayn's great. Didn't mind the last segment with Goldberg. But it just mm. seems like the same thing with Brock. They've got an amount of appearances they have to get through with Goldberg and they have him um, spear with Roman Reigns, Braun Strowman. Yeah, it's going to kill Braun Strowman's momentum a bit. Like He's an unstoppable force that can't be can't be tamed and he just gets speared by Goldberg and Roman. Yeah. And that's in stone. Um, but yeah. yeah um, the, the, the ending segment was basically Joker saying, I'm going to win the Rumble. Then Goldberg comes down and says, no, I'm going to win the Wimble. Then Brock, then Paul Heyman came down and said, Brock's going to win the Wimble. And then Raymond Reigns came down and said, I'm going to win the Wimble. Then Paul Strowman came down and said, guess what? I'm going to win the Wimble. Yeah. And then this fight broke out and that's it. Yeah, Garbage. and then like, <laughs> since that spear was over, Goldberg and Reigns nodded, nodded at each other. Yeah. And Goldberg's music played. That was the end of Raw. And it's like... Okay. So, I mean, <laughs> don't get me wrong. I mean, um, Steve said to me, when I think they fucking buried Strowman there. They were the words he used. Yeah, I thought but, the same thing. Uh, I, when I saw it, I was like... Okay, maybe that shouldn't have happened, but I do think um, Strowman will get his uh, in an episode of Raw Build Up to the Raw Rumble. I have to say, I think he should take the the, the US title from uh, Roman. Yeah, I, I, well, yeah, I agree. I, I, I do but, agree. Yeah, um, in fact, I thought I thought Chris Jericho should have taken it from him on this week's Raw. Um, I, I think Chris Jericho should have taken it from him uh, Raw about four weeks. Ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, but yeah, speaking of matches, uh, that's was, that was another decent match: Reigns versus Jericho. Um, but yeah. Choker should have won. Why, why is Roman have that belt? It's dumb. It's stupid. Yeah, it's dumb. Especially when he's in the world title picture. Exactly. It just doesn't make any sense. Yeah. He's like, and we'll talk about SmackDown, I'm sure, in a minute, but, you know, obviously, their, their IC title picture and their world title <laughs> picture are two different separate things. And, exactly. Um, 
you can tell that that's the case. Whereas this, they're, they're trying to blend the two together and it just doesn't make good television. No, it doesn't work. Um, you should have, uh, I mean, that's the point of having a mid-card championships for the mid-card. It's not for the main event. Exactly. So you've got your tag team titles so that you, you build a story around the tag team titles and whatever. There's, you know, 20 minutes. I don't know, whatever. Um, you got your cruiserweight title. Um, was Rich, Rich one wasn't even on Raw, was he? Or was he? Uh, no, but yeah, Tuesday B versus Brian Kendrick. Yeah. In a good, and you had a short match. Between, uh, Ced- you had a Cedric Alexander and, um, Drew Gulak match. That's the one. So the Cruiserweight champion wasn't even on Raw. Mm-hmm. Um, so, <laughs> I mean, there is stories going on in that division and that I'm fine with. Yeah. Um, but, you know, so, so you, you've got that allocated segment and the mid card, I guess the mid card is Sami Zayn versus Braun Strowman. Oh yes. But what are you filling that other time with? And that's yeah. that's the big problem I've got with Raw and <laughs> Roman Reigns having that title. I wouldn't mind him having the belt if he wasn't trying to win the world title. Yeah, me too. It's weird. Of course, you have the uh, excellent feud of Big Cass versus Rusev and Jinder Mahal, which everyone loves. Jinder Mahal is ripped. He is a bit, yeah. Well, again, that's that's a nothing. <laughs> exactly, it's nothing. Like, no one cares about it. Exactly, yeah. That's my point. Again, no this whole thing comes from Enzo's penis. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, when you sit and think about it like that, that this whole feud is built just because Enzo was naked and Lana saw his penis, <laughs> you sort of think, wait, they're, they're really fighting because of that. Yeah. This whole thing is brewed because of that. It's dumb. Can you, are you serious with this? <laughs> so the mid-card consists of no championship because the, mid, the mid-card championship is in the main event. Yeah. That is, yeah, it's dumb. It's like when they're like, oh, Kevin is going to fight Roman Reigns for the US title. It's like, why? <laughs> why? Why do you fight him for the US title? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Makes no sense. Uh, yeah, so dumb, Raw, stupid. Raw dumb. is hard work and it's got a long way to go before it picks up again. I mean, you have flashes every now and then. Yeah, flashes of goodness. Like, Sami Zayn and Braun Strowman. Good. And then, just, yeah. Big show, a big cast versus <laughs> Jinder Mahal. Not good. Yeah, that's good. Ty, so, Neil coming down during the New Day segment. <laughs> Not good. Yeah. It was kind of funny, I guess, but yeah, yeah but the match was garbage. garbage. <laughs> I just, I don't it went, get no. it. it. Yeah, I don't, it's stupid. And then you jump over to Tuesday nights and you, you see how well formatted SmackDown is. And mm-hmm. it's just, it doesn't feel like the same company. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's like someone else. It's like when you watch NXT and you watch 205 Live, you think, right, these are well structured television programs about professional wrestling. <laughs> Fine, I'm good with this. Yeah. We know who's in the title pictures. We know who's doing what and where they should be on the show. And then Raw's just a clusterfuck of all sorts of different things. And it's like, this isn't good television. It's not. And, um, well, what, again, I mean, we said it a couple of weeks back. What happened to Raw with the different camera angles when Finn Balor oh, yeah. was, um, you know, the first episode of the, the new era after the draft when they were trying to make the show different and Raw had different camera angles and, yeah, Where, that's cool. what happened to that? That was a great <laughs> episode. That first episode of Raw after the draft was brilliant. It was. Where is that? It, it went with Finn Balor, I guess. <laughs> well, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he must have done. <laughs> he must have done. Finn Balor took it with him. <laughs> oh, man. It's just... Yes, it's the longest weekly running episodic television show, but it's not a good one. It's not, no. It's getting, it's getting people getting tired of it now. Yeah, it's, like it's getting to a point where I don't even bother watching it. Yeah. I read... I, I, I watch the... the two minute clips on Facebook of the stuff that was actually decent on Raw yeah I use decent in quotes yeah and then I don't watching. need to watch it yeah but then but what's interesting is we still find ourselves talking about it in detail on the podcast because Raw doesn't fucking change every week <laughs> yeah uh, it's dumb it, sh- it should be talk about how it should be better and how garbage it is as opposed to what we're actually enjoying from it I know we, so. we, I think I think we've if you go back and listen to the podcasts I think you we've Moaned about Raw more than we praised it over the last year or so. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Um, where it used to be, we used to moan about SmackDown, but now the tables have well and truly turned. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. So right. let's talk about SmackDown. Let's talk positives about Yay. the product that WWE is giving us at the moment. Power of positivity. Yes. P-O-P, baby. Baby. Um, yeah, so it opened with like a segment uh, basically hyping up the match later tonight, which is going to be uh, The Miz versus Dean Ambrose for the IT title. Good stuff. Good uh, stuff. Good First time I've cared about Dean Ambrose in ages. <laughs> yeah. All because of something out of turn the Miz said to his girlfriend. Yeah, exactly. Good stuff. But, you know, they weren't bringing that into television. Like yeah. Renee Young and Dean Ambrose, they left it alone, obviously, because of Total Divas. Their relationship is... Divas. Out Divas 
is out in the open. Fine. Miz brought it to TV. Fine. But it's built a feud around it. And I'm fine with it because of that. Yes. It's not built around a penis. It's <laughs> built around uh, somebody sticking up for his girlfriend. Yeah. Or whatever. You That's know, good. That sort of thing. It's good. Yes. Uh, so the first match of the night was a repeat of everyone's favourite feud. Baron Corbin versus Dolph Ziggler. Yes, again. Um, it was another decent match. Yes, like, it was, yeah. Although we'd seen it a hundred times before. Yeah. Um, Corbin ended up winning with the end of days. Uh, grabbed the chair, went to attack uh, Dolph Ziggler. But then Kalisto came down to make the save. Mm-hmm. Lucha, Lucha, etc. Uh, <laughs> chases off Baron Corbin. Uh, and then as uh, Kalisto turned around, he ate a super kick from Dolph Ziggler. Oh my goodness. He'll turn for Dolph Ziggler. Yeah. Um, Finally. <laughs> When Kalisto came down, I was like, not again. <laughs> not, not this again, again, yeah. Please, no. Yeah. Um, I saw the turn coming. Uh, yeah, I did. Because, <laughs> uh, well, it, it just, it seemed like it was coming. Yeah. Ziggler getting frustrated and his turn heel. What a, and I'm absolutely fine with it because he's Same. a much better heel than he is a face. Yeah. Because. I agree. Um, like CM Punk, like, uh, <laughs> you know, others. I can't, I'm trying to think of them off the top of my head. But he's just, just a not a likable character. <laughs> yeah. He's got, he's got, he's got, um, Kind of Seth Rollins is kind of going through the same thing at the minute as a face. It just doesn't suit him. No, I don't been, care about been so, it. yeah, it's been so long as a, as a heel, as a good heel, and now there's a face is just kind of like, oh, uh, yeah, I guess, <laughs> I guess it's fine. Yeah, but great wrestler, but weird character. Uh, yes, but yeah, very happy to also his own heel. Good, that's a very good thing. Well done. Um, backstage, Apollo Crews confronted Ziggler. <clears throat> he was like wrecking the backstage area. Throwing stuff around. By the way. <laughs> yeah, to go. Kind of, like yeah. Half-assed through a chair. And I was like, "Come on!" <laughs> you can you, you pissed off. You kicked over a bin. Okay. Now really throw that chair <laughs> against the wall. Like really be angry. Come on. <laughs> yeah. But what happened after was cool. So. Uh yeah. So the, they like fight, fought backstage in like the locker room area. Uh, Apollo Cruz. That's, that's cool. So that, that's set up a nice feud there because yeah. we'll get Apollo Cruz versus Ziggler. I hope. Um, this isn't just to make Ziggler look better as a heel, which Maybe. is my fear a little bit, but um, I'm fine. I guess Apollo Crews on TV, and he's yeah. been, uh, which, you know, TV time that he's been sorely lacking. Absolutely, yeah. That's a good thing. Um, right, so then we had um, Becky Lynch versus La Luchadora, mystery, mystery woman. Um, Who do you think it is? I actually don't know. I was not thinking about it. I think um, it's Mickey James. I actually had that same thought. I was about to say Mickey James, as you said it. Um, because, yeah, there's been rumours saying that Mickey James is coming back. Uh, she's been uh, at the Performance Centre doing stuff. Well, I read that she'd signed a contract. Yeah, so, I, mean, I read that too. I read as much as that, so... Um, That'd be cool if it is. Yeah. Cause I was trying to like, look at the skin tone and say, oh, she's kind of... Yeah, I guess it could be this or that. And I thought, oh, Mickey James, yeah. And then that's the point you said it as well. She's not black, <laughs> so it's not Naomi. No, no, it's, yeah. <clears throat> I think it's me. I do think it's Mickey James. I think you might be right. Uh, so yeah. she's coming back as a heel if uh, that's that's. Uh, I'm fine if, with that if that is correct <laughs> yeah yeah totally fine with that that'd be awesome Mickey was always a good heel yeah she was um, so yeah Luchador ended up uh, like going under the ring to hide and then another mystery woman came out <laughs> uh, from behind uh, attacked Becky Lynch uh, Becky Lynch ended up winning with the armor after Luchador went for a sparkle splash <gasps> who could it be mystery uh, and she obviously took, took off the mask and it was uh, bloody like some less who doesn't yeah well who, who knew who knew <laughs> uh, I like and this then, feud. Yeah, and of course the second Lucha came up and they beat up, beat up Becky Lynch. Uh, I like this because it's completely different to Charlotte versus Sasha. Oh uh, yeah, it's cool. It's unique. It's funny. I like it. It's cool. It is cool, and because it, it's, it's, I mean, the, 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 I mean, the Charlotte versus Sasha, while it was excellent and groundbreaking in its own way, this is a bit more lighthearted. You got the Luchadora thing going on, and oh, who's this? You're also <laughs> going to build up to someone else coming into it yeah, yeah. or a returning diva, diva diva superstar rather I don't want to be, uh, use that terrible term um, yeah it's good it's very good oh, excuse me so we had the uh, contract signing between uh, John Cena and AJ Styles and yeah great promo both oh, these wow. guys are excellent wow 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 so so good um, AJ Styles was excellent in this both of them were yeah but, I mean AJ Styles was talking about how uh, Cena called The Rock for uh, being away and all this sort of stuff and then you know Cena's no different to The Rock they're exactly the same mm-hmm. and all this sort of thing and it was it was awesome um, they've got unbelievable chemistry yeah so good um, AJ Styles one of the greatest wrestlers of the last forever I mean he's the greatest wrestler <laughs> um, around at the minute yeah it's not, not even not even a contest AJ Styles is the best wrestler around right now yeah not just in WWE I'm 
talking universal. The world, yeah, I agree. Um, Cena is John, Cena is Cena, recognised. And uh, <laughs> it's... I can, nah, ass. But do, I do, like do, that do. Cena's come back with this attitude. Yeah. He's it's like he's, with, like a heelish attitude. Uh, yeah, he's I was going to say. Not, not, not a... Not a, not a heel, but not entirely a face. But he called out the crowd as well. Yeah. He went, like, they, they, they can boo and they can chant, uh, Cena sucks and <laughs> has been, but they'll never be John Cena. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Um, it's like, it's like a face is half the crowd and a heel to the other half. It's yeah. very unique, uh, for Justin to be in. I think they're testing the waters. Yeah, I like it. It's like, uh, because now he's got that cock, he's like, I'm John Cena. Yeah, I'm thinking John Cena, bitch. What are you going to do? No, <laughs> yeah. Like, you should I just have a t-shirt that says John Cena, bitch. I'm actually buy it. <laughs> yeah, awesome. same, actually. That'd be amazing. Let's yeah. make it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's make it ourselves and sell it. Yeah. <laughs> John Cena, bitch. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, great work from both of these guys. Yes, excellent. Um, and I'm fucking hyped for that match. As well. Me too. Like, we've seen it. Yeah. But... I'm excited to see it again because now it was a good because match. you know they can put a, a, an awesome match it was one of the matches matches of the year yeah and it hasn't been done 27 times already exactly, like, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> to see it again. did seem to go on but the only I think they only had two or three singles matches yeah I think, I think they said AJ won three, three times yeah yeah um, I'm happy to see it again well, I'm really I'm really happy to see it again um, be interesting to see if Cena takes the belt off him I'm mm. not convinced he's going to yeah not mystery yet. he will he will at some point there's no way he's not getting that 16th belt. Oh, yeah, for sure. Possibly even the 17th, just to break the record. Yep. Um, but yeah. He's so, John Cena. Bitch. Yeah. Uh, so, after that, uh, Baron Corbin came down. Says, hey, I'm going to win the Wimble, you guys. I'm going to fight either one of you. Yeah. And then Ada starts like, attacking him from behind. And, yeah, that was the thing. I like awesome it. to see Baron Corbin in the mix with that. Yes, very cool. Because... Um, I, I mean, I do predict that he's going to win the belt next year. Or this year, rather. Hmm. Um, I think he'll win it at some point. I, he, I don't think he'll win the Royal Rumble, but I wouldn't be against him winning the Royal Rumble. Yeah, I wouldn't be against it. Um, I mean, I'd be quite happy. I mean, if he's going to fight at WrestleMania for the title, it won't be against AJ Styles, and it would yeah. be against Cena. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. So that's why I don't think he'll win the title. Yeah. I think Cena's there's going to be something big for Cena, something big for Styles. Yeah, I think so. Uh, but I don't know <clears> why at the minute. Unless we get Cena versus Styles at WrestleMania, in my Undertaker theories, or... <laughs> Who knows? We'll see. But, <laughs> we'll um, see. I think it's awesome to see Baron Corbin uh, in the mix, in the world title picture. Yes. Um, Very cool. Because he's now clearly made that step up from the mid card to the main event. And yes. It, but it, and it's clear. It's not even... like he. But he doesn't look out of place with them either. No, it's fine. Um, it's believable. Yeah, it is believable. And I hope he does win the belt this year. Because yeah. Because he's It'll getting cool. the crowd's attention. Um, getting our people like us. Yep. Attention. Um, good, good stuff. I'm happy. Good times. Recording. Yes, me too. Uh, so after that, we had like a little backstage thing where Maurice came down and slapped Renee Young in the face. Poor Renee. Poor Renee. Ouch. Take that slap, bitch. Yo. I <laughs> 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 had a match. Uh, it was Carmella versus Aaliyah from NXT. Yeah. Cool. Neat. I like happy good. for her. Yeah, me too. Good seeing her on the TV. Awesome because um, the struggles that she went through on breaking ground looked like she was even going to get cut. Yeah, it didn't look like uh, she was going to be there for long. So from um, that to her performances in NXT, which have earned her this shot on SmackDown, I believe, because I think yeah. she's been good. Yeah, she's been good. Uh, no botches. Um, she's done what she's been asked to do and done it well. Yeah. And I think that's what's got her the, the shot on SmackDown. And she did a good job on SmackDown as well. She did, yeah. Probably better than Carmella, in truth. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Um, so uh, James, Ellsworth, uh, James Ellsworth was at ringside for some reason. I still don't understand this. No, um, I don't. Is thing. she a face now? Or? I don't know. But just... I don't think, think so. I think I think James Ellsworth. I think James Ellsworth is supposed to be. I don't know. In love with her, I guess, and like trying to trying to help her win the match. I don't know who cares. <laughs> this is a stupid thing. It is a stupid thing. Um, it just gives James Ellsworth something to do. I guess now so. that he's not in the title picture anymore. Thank thank God. Christ. Yeah, that's dumb. Um, so yeah, Commander was on the middle rope. Um, nope, Ali was on the middle rope. Uh, Ellsworth grabbed her foot, and she like turned around, and said, "Hey, what are you doing?" And then uh, Commander. One with the Code of Silence submission thing. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, to be cool. honest, I enjoyed the match. I was yeah. watching it closely simply just to see how Aaliyah did. Yeah. Uh, because I wanted it. I was I was rooting for her. Yeah, me too. Um, I really wanted her to do well. So, um, And I think she did. I do think she she didn't disgrace herself, that's for sure. Yeah, that's no, good. Had a good showing. Yeah. Um, I don't think she'll make the step up. Not just yet. No. Maybe later on in the year. Yeah, I think she has more of a run in NXT. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I read that uh, Liv Morgan was on a, a Raw House show as well. Recently. I read. She was teaming up with Sasha and Bailey 
against Charlotte, Nia Jax and someone else. Interesting. So that's an interesting one. Yeah. I like both. Both have got work to do for sure before they're sort of ready for TV, but I thought that about Carmella. Yeah. But and Carmella's on TV. But Who knows? Liv is very marketable. Oh, uh, yes. Yo, 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 yo. Yeah, change the music, though. Uh, yeah, please do. <laughs> but um, I think she's, she's a good-looking girl. Yeah. Um, but she's got work to do, but I'm rooting for her. I'm rooting for all of them. I always do. I always root for the girls in NXT just because of that they are given that chance to go and do it. Yeah, it's cool. They're not thrown on TV to get squashed by Nia Jax. <laughs> exactly. Um, the next match we had was uh, a very short one. Rizango versus the new tag team champions, American Alpha, who uh, pinned Randy Orton last week before the titles, out of nowhere. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, but we didn't actually talk about wrestling last week, did we? Yeah, so that's a weird one, because originally it was supposed to be um, the hype bros uh, against, going up against the uh, uh, the Wyatts for the titles, but then Zack Wyatt got injured. So it makes you think that maybe they were going to win the titles from the Wyatts, which would have been terrible. <laughs> a terrible thing. Yeah, um, we'd have been slaying Smackdown like we did Raw if that, if that yeah. happened. So, yeah, weird one. But I'm glad I'm going to have a, a team cha- 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 tag team champions. I'm yeah, very tired. so happy for um, them. Like, it's, they uh, deserve it. It's, it's awesome that uh, they put the belts on on them. Yes. Um, yeah, very, very happy. And then uh, they won this match in like less than a minute. <laughs> I feel bad for Buzango. What do you think is going to happen with the Wyatts here? Because, well, I mean, I didn't think they'd lose those belts until Randy Orton turned on Bray Wyatt inevitably. Yeah, same. Um, I don't know. It's a weird one. They might. Have, mm, I don't want them to hot shot the titles, but I don't know if they might win it back again. Just to got like little, I don't know, back and forth going on. I'm happy for Alpha now, though. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's good for that Alpha. They definitely deserve it. Um, Unless they have a rematch at the Royal Rumble and then Randy Orton turns, maybe. Then it then it starts to build the slow build to Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania. Yeah, I kind of like the Randy and the Wyatt though. It's, it's grown I, on me. It's grown on me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's grown on me. I didn't think I'd like it ever. Yeah, so, but uh, no, it works weirdly. But I don't know, who knows? We'll see what happens. It's a weird one. Um, then I, a segment I skipped because I'm not running out of time. Sure. Uh, Nikki was talking at Natalia about something. I don't know. Because <laughs> Natalia beat her up that time, didn't she? Oh, yeah, they're backstage. Crap food, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, low point for SmackDown. <laughs> no offense, ladies. Just, yeah. No, it's just a weird feud, really, to be honest. Uh, yeah, so we had the main event. Uh, it was just Dean Ambrose versus The Miz for the IC title. Them is. Them is. And it's a really good match. Um, yeah, really good. Right to the end. Um, Maurice slapped Dean Ambrose. Um, the referee saw them. Was about to, to uh, disqualify Dean Ambrose. Or the oh, Miz, sorry. Um, but Dean Ambrose stepped in and was like, no, don't disqualify me. Uh, just kick, kick Maurice out and we'll carry on. And so we did. Match carried on. Um, Miz hit Ambrose from behind with the IT title. But Ambrose kicked out. Then Ambrose did the dirty deeds on the Miz and the one the new IC champion, uh, Dean Ambrose. Cool, cool, unexpected but cool. Yeah, very unexpected. Yeah. Um, but again, this Dean Ambrose has now taken that step from the main event and gone down to the mid card and doesn't look out of place because SmackDown yeah. is quite a level playing field, I think. I think so. Um, but at the same time, the the different divisions are very close to what they are. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's cool. Uh, it means we're going to get more Miz versus Dean Ambrose, which I'm not against because I think yep. um, the Miz is still doing fantastic work uh, on the mic and stuff and in the ring. Yep, yep, agreed. And Dean Ambrose is Dean Ambrose. Yeah, it's very good. So I'm fine with it. Um, but yeah, I, was, I wasn't expecting Dean Ambrose to win the IC title, not just on SmackDown. No, yeah, same. Um, but it's cool that you can have these big moments on SmackDown. Um, that seems to be happening a lot, like when the when the American Alpha beat the Wyatts. Um, yeah. And it's good. It makes me want to watch it more. Yeah, it does. Um, as long as SmackDown needs to keep the momentum going. Yeah. Because it is a very good show at the minute. Because, I mean, now you've got, I mean, building up to the pay per view, you've got clear paths as to who's going for what. Yeah. So we are building towards Cena versus AJ. We are building um, Dean Ambrose versus The Miz again, Whites mm-hmm. versus American Alpha, even like Nikki versus Natalia. Yep. Becky Lynch and uh, Becky Lynch, Lynch against Alexa Bliss. Um, so SmackDown has a very clear path, and that's something that Raw just does not have. Yeah. And um, too many, too many. Fingers in one pie, <laughs> uh, as in the main event scene. Jericho, Rollins, Reigns, Strowman. It was yeah, <sighs> Goldberg born. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's, it's a it's a clusterfuck. Raw is, but SmackDown yeah. is is very very good. Agreed. And uh, I hope it carries on that way. Um, yeah, me too. Good start to the year for SmackDown. Very poor start to the year for Monday Night Raw. <laughs> yes, agreed. So that was this week's wrestling. 
Mm-hmm. I've still got a few weeks of the Raw Rumble, so it'll be interesting to see how the build continues. Yep, yep. Uh, my prediction for Raw next week is uh, Kevin Owens versus Roman Reigns, or Ross <laughs> Strowman versus Roman Reigns, or Seth Rollins versus Jericho, something like that. One of those. <clears throat> yeah. Um, because that's how Raw is. Yep. Sami Zayn makes a heroic return and costs Braun Strowman in the main event against whoever he's fighting against. Yeah. Roman Reigns, Roman probably. Reigns. Yeah. So you fight Roman Reigns in the main event of Raw next week or mm-hmm. on Raw at some point, Sammy will come down, cost him the match, that feud carries on. Yes. Probably. There you go. Good prediction. Probably an accurate one as well, and that's the sad thing about Raw. Yeah, probably. Oh dear. Oh. I know what it's time for. <laughs> <laughs> This week's episode of the Sunny and Finn Show is brought to you by the letter Z, Z. <laughs> or, or Z if you if you prefer. If there are any, <laughs> oh, there there's, there's a couple. Not many. Zack Ryder, woo woo woo. All right, okay. I'm not gonna. <laughs> we'll go with this one. Okay. Juice. Ah yes. <laughs> During the filming of No Holds Barred, reports spread that tensions were high on the set between Hulk Hogan and the man known as the human wrecking machine, Zeus. <laughs> in the spring of 1989, Zeus suddenly appeared in WWE with Slick and attacked Hulk Hogan before his steel cage match with Big Boss Man. <laughs> Zeus claimed that he was the real star of No Holds Barred and that he was going to destroy Hulk Hogan. <laughs> this fictional character. I actually own this in DVD. <laughs> oh yeah? <laughs> awesome. Um... <laughs> It's not. <laughs> yeah, it's not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Zeus continued to stalk Hogan in arenas around the nation and joined forces with Randy Savage. They challenged the team of Hogan and Brutus Beefcake at SummerSlam 89. The battle much. didn't end there as the four men brought others into the fray at that November's Survivor Series. Zeus had a run. He did, he did, apparently. Zeus made his last <laughs> appearance with World Wrestling Entertainment in December 1989 in No Holds Barred, the match. Oh, snap. Zeus appeared months later in Puerto Rico and later appeared briefly in WCW as Z Gangster. <laughs> Why? Jesus. Why? Uh, he's a made-up character from a film. Uh, uh, I don't think it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> uh, today, the man once known as Zeus can be seen in many movies and television programs. Yeah, because well, he's an actor, not a wrestler. Correct. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, he's a big guy. He is, he is. He's, he's actually guy. Debo in the Friday movies if you've seen them. I haven't. He's the bully on the block. Ah, interesting. Funny movies. Cool. Especially about smoking weed. Alright, oh, okay. <laughs> um, they've got Ice Cube in them. I know that is. Funny, it's basically. You don't know Ice Cube is. Yeah. Uh, is Rap Man, is he? He's one of them yes, Rap Men. He's, he's one of them Rap Men that, oh, we, yeah. that we spoke about previously. <laughs> I see. This week's episode of the Sunday Fin Show was brought to you by the letter Z or Z, however you want to say it. Yes. Z. Yeah, Zeus is an interesting one. I remember sort of. Um, I just sort of gotten into wrestling around that time when Zeus was around oh, yeah. and No Holds Barb was a thing. <laughs> and it's not a good movie I, no, I, I do have it on DVD I think it's in the garage somewhere Like it's still in its cellophane wrapper oh nice I remember it from Sky Movies back sort of in the early 90s oh yeah it's not a good film it just isn't just like all of Hulk Hogan's other films <laughs> yeah pretty much not good yeah not quite the rock in terms of uh, movie stardom no Mr. Nanny um, doesn't quite <laughs> live up to even like the rock's early movies like Welcome to the Jungle <laughs> oh yeah what was that one where it's like a tooth fairy or something? Isn't that Mr. Nanny? It could be, I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> Who knows? It sounds garbage either way. Yeah. And it could very well be Mr. Nanny. <laughs> uh, Suburban Commando, another Hulk Hogan classic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, good times. Uh, I think Undertaker's in Suburban Commando. Oh, is he? Yeah. Weird. Only like, I think he like, like plays one of the bad guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. It isn't. No, it's not, again, it's not a good film. No, okay. What about Trouble in Paradise? That's a Hogan film, isn't it? Is it? Oh, don't know. Something? Is that what it's called? No idea. Haven't heard of it. Not movie guy. Thunder in Paradise. That's what it is. Oh yeah. Trouble in Paradise, of course, is Kofi Kingston's finishing move. That's the one. Thunder in Paradise. <laughs> cool. Again, garbage. Yep. Sounds it. I'm struggling to think of a good Hulk Hogan movie. <laughs> don't want any. It doesn't exist. <laughs> yep. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, please go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. YouTube.com yes. forward slash Sunny Finn Play. So much content coming this year. Mm-hmm. Twitch.tv forward slash Sunny Finn Play. Yeah. You can follow our podcast on SoundCloud. Mm-hmm. You can subscribe to our podcast on iTunes. Or you can listen to our podcast pretty much anywhere, even on your Xbox One. Yeah. This is yeah. The Sunny and Finn Show, and we are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts every single Friday across podcast services 
everywhere. Everywhere. And we are now part of the Daydreamer Gaming family. Yes. Who you can also find on YouTube. Type in Daydreamer Gaming. We'll be there. Yes. Also on Twitch, which is twitch.tv forward slash Gaming. Good stuff. Thank you very much for listening. This has been episode 46. Yep. I'm Sunny. I'm Finn. And we'll speak to you next time. Thank you very much, guys. Yes. Goodbye. Thanks so much. Goodbye.